So, I've just learnt for loops, and I'm going to be creating a multiplication table which applies for loop. Practiced a couple of times, so it should be relatively easy, but I may have forgotten how to do certain parts of it, we'll see. And it's an interesting way of understanding how the code relates to the final product. So let's get to it. All I'm going to do is type out the first header row from numbers one to nine. So console dot uh, right line. And then we're going to set out the numbers one to nine. So we need uh, tabs to space them out properly. Okay, so let's just test this out first and see what it looks like. Okay, so you can see here that this code relates to this particular 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And in order to write the numbers down the side of the multiplication table, we also need a for loop. So for, and then if you click tab twice, uh, it generates the basic for loop code for you in which you can change. Now we've got an integer i, let's call it, and the number is one because we want it to go from one to nine. And so the length goes up to nine, meaning it should be less than or equal to nine. And then it adds one every time it loops. So the next stage is to set out what happens in this loop. Let's do console.write, we want we don't want any tab. All we want to do is print i. So I'm just going to put i there. Console dot right line, which is just blank, and that will move it onto the next line. So essentially, we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hopefully, this works. Okay, so you can see there that I've added one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine down to the side of the table. So all we need to do now is basically fill out this table. And the way to do that is to create a nested loop. So that means a loop within a loop. So we'll use another for loop here. So before the console.write line, before it goes to the next line, what we want to be doing actually is multiplying the numbers from one to nine. So four, and then tab, tab. This time, instead of i, we'll call it j, as is uh, traditional, so int j. So again, we want it to start at 1. And then the length will be the same, so equal less than or equal to 9. And then it adds 1 every time. Uh, then we've got another console.write. However, this time it's going to be slightly different. It's going to be console.write. And then we want to create a space, so tab T, and we want to print the number. And the number is simply going to be um, the number of the top row, which is I, uh, multiplied by the number going down the side, which will be J. This should hopefully work, so let's have a look. Okay, so we've got a multiplication table one to nine. Although as a child, I do remember that multiplication tables went up to 12. So I'm gonna to try to amend this to see if so I'm gonna add, we just increase this up to 12, increase this up to 12 and everything else should be the same. So let's try this again. Ooh, okay, I've got to expand it out a little bit. Okay, so it does get me to 12 times 12, which is 144, but something has gone wrong with the header row. So let's try to fix that. For some reason, the header row loops back once it's the number 10, 11, 12. Maybe what I need to do is create a separate for loop. Before we even get into any of this code right here, the initial for loop, we're going to create a for loop before that, which prints out the header. And that should look something like... So remember, this is just the header. It's not actually doing any multiplication. Just say console.writek, presumably. 
Let's see if this works, okay. <laughs> okay, so I've made a mistake here. Obviously I didn't add the tabs in and it needs to be tabbed so that it's spaced out properly. So let's just quickly fix that. So that should work and expand it out. <laughs> um, okay, something is a bit weird. say 12. Um, my only guess is that I'm missing a console.write line somewhere. I suspect I might have to put it here. No, hang on. I can't put it in the loop otherwise it'll loop that round 12 times. I need to put a console.write line here. Now let's see if this works. Please work. Woohoo! Okay, so I fixed it. It was missing a console.write line, so basically the two for loops were bunching up on the first line. So just wanted to show you how that comes together, how it constitutes the different parts of this table. I think it's quite a good exercise in understanding the presentation of information and also trying to understand how the for loops apply to the various aspects of the program. The thing that I find interesting is even with you know one or two things missing, like for example I missed the console.write line, it still can totally mess up and so you do have to be quite careful and understand each of the constituent parts. Uh, for executing the code. All right, so that's just a very simple piece of coding that I've done recently. I also intend on doing some game development type videos in terms of, you know, the sort of skills that you need, storytelling, game design, animation, art, sound design, music, etc. I won't be able to do all of these things to a professional level, but it'll be fun to sort of explore and understand how these things work. So I hope you enjoyed this video to see how this code comes together. And if you're beginning to code, this might uh, be of interest to you. If of course you've been doing coding for years, this is probably a little bit comical for you. If you want to see other coding mistakes that I've made, then please watch my other videos, which I will put up uh, here or here. And um, see you in the next video.